So I'm gonna be super productive today, and I'm gonna, what? What's up guys, Jason here, aspiring entrepreneur, and in this video, we are gonna talk about multitasking, specifically why everyone should, number one, stop doing it, because it just doesn't work, and that's it, number one, because we're not multitasking in this video, we're just focusing on one thing. Okay, really dumb joke, but let's just dive straight in. Our brains are not designed to do more than one thing at one time. I'm not gonna throw a bunch of boring research at you. I'm not gonna spend 20 minutes, you know, telling you, you know, all the science behind how your brain works and why you can't go this way or that way more than once. So I'm just gonna give you a brief overview of what happens when you multitask and then a better solution to do it. And then a big warning for all of you guys who think you really are good at multitasking. So kicking things off with number one, is the biggest drain with multitasking is bleed time. And this is what I mean. When you are, okay, I'm focused on the computer right now. I'm typing up a description for this video right now. And somehow I'm typing the description and I'm doing the video at the same time. Well, you all know that I can't do that, right? I can't talk to you and type at the same time. That would be multitasking because I would literally be doing two things at the same time. Most of what would be happening or what is called multitasking today is I would type a sentence and then I'd come back and type to you, talk to you. I would type a sentence and I would come back and talk to you. Notice how I'm not actually doing two things at once, I'm jumping back and forth between two different things. And that's because our brains cannot do two things at the same time. That's why you see, you know, states started banning people talking on their cell phones. Like as annoying as it is, well, accidents actually go up when you're on the phone, okay? So hopefully those two examples just quickly illustrate that you can't physically do two things at the same time. So then we're left with, okay, you're like, okay, Jason, well, you can switch back and forth, right? Because you're talking and then you get a good idea for the description, so you type and then you go back and you and then you have a better description, you have a better video because the, the two are intertwined and they're working well together. Well, no, because of bleed time. Now, the depends on the type of person you are, but when it comes to switching back and forth, because we've established we're not doing two things at the same time, there's something called bleed time. So if I'm talking to you in this video, and then I go and type, my mind is still thinking about the video, because the video is still going. And when you, when I'm here, I'm not actually 100% focused, because maybe I've been able to pull 60% of my attention back to the screen, but 40% of my brain power is still on this video that we're going through right now, and it hasn't completely switched yet. There hasn't been something to tell the brain, okay, we are done, we're closed. It's kind of like having two books open at once. Your brain doesn't automatically close one book and then open another book in 2.5 seconds, right? That It doesn't work like that. So what winds up happening is you have something called bleed time. And what that means is you're, my brain's still over here and I'm trying to focus here and it takes a while for the brain to close this book and then come and focus on what's going on right here on the screen. And what happens is over time, your, whatever you're working on, you're not doing as good of a job with it because part of your brain is still over here. And on top of that, your brain begins to get into that mode of thinking, which leads me into number three, which is the big, big warning. You can actually permanently damage your ability to focus because when you continually jump back and forth, back and forth, you essentially create a neural pathway where your brain becomes used to jumping back and forth between tasks and it loses the ability to focus on one thing, to focus on one thing. So you need to do one thing, and then when you're done with that, you go to the next one, right? As opposed to jumping back and forth. So you can jump back and forth between things, but the big thing is multitasking and this whole multi, and we see it on every, almost every single job posting, ability to multitask, right? I will just, I'm waiting for the day with some hiring manager finally stops putting that on resumes and stops pretending like people can do it, right? So we jump and back and forth between tasks all the time. But what's important is how often we jump back and forth between tasks. Right. So in terms of going with this, continuing with the silly example, we're five minutes into this video and I have done everything focused on this video. Ideally, if I was typing a description, I would focus on it until I was completely done, because that way you're training your brain, you're training your neural pathway and you're flexing that focus muscle to say you do one thing at a time. You give it one hundred and ten percent. And then when you're done, your brain can close the book 
and then you could go to something else and you can open the book someplace else. But when you try and have two books open at once, you, you literally fracture your attention. And if you do that long enough, kind of like picking up your phone and checking notifications every five minutes, if you do that long enough, you can actually permanently damage your brain's ability to focus on one thing. And so that is the main reason I'm creating this video for you guys is because uh, the research that has come out and you know what, you can, you can go look it up, like seeing how social media is, is affecting your time span. Uh, ability to focus. That's not really what this video is about. I'm focused on helping you guys stay focused and, and increase your productivity. But it's just something that is really can be really, really detrimental. And I'm not calling out any specific places I've worked in the past, but I have seen it firsthand how people are, un, my coworkers were unable to focus on one particular thing because they were always picking up their phone or because the boss was always ask, coming to the cubicle and asking them questions or you know they were always forced to answer the client call right when it came in or answer an email right when it so being able to focus on one thing is super super important and so this is just my plea video to you guys to just let go of this whole multitasking thing and embrace the fact that really number one we do go back and forth between things and number two to help us from not become have fractured attention and not being able to focus is we need to train ourselves to focus on one thing focus on one thing open the book here close the book there you know close the book here open the book there so i hope that's helpful for you guys and i really really want to stress that just just focusing on one thing at a time, forgetting this multitasking thing is essential to our success as entrepreneurs. So if you got some value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for more business building and productivity tips and tricks just like this one. Over on my channel, I'm just talking everything entrepreneurship and everything it takes to put together a business and productivity and focus is key to your success as an entrepreneur. So until the next video, hit that subscribe button and keep building the business you love. Take care.